So, I want to ask you a question. What's your five-year plan? Yeah. What's your five-year plan? See, many years ago, I had a mentor who would, you know, who would always tell me, Michael, what's your five-year plan? What's your five-year plan, Michael? Write it. What's your five-year plan? Now, back in 2007, 2008, if I was to write a five-year plan, I never could have written everything that I've accomplished now or anything or everything that I'm doing right now. There was no way I would have done that. And you know why? Because Michael in 2007 had insecurities, was hopeless, didn't think anything good could come out of him. And everything I would have written back in 2007 and 2008 would have been based off of what I felt or thought I could achieve. So first thing is, um, I would have said, I want to be a successful actor in Nigeria. I want to meet a girl in Nigeria, get married and settled in Nigeria. But fast forward, I live in America. I'm walk, you know, I'm, I'm working in Hollywood. I've, I've met actors that I grew up watching on TV, and now I'm getting to work with them, getting to call them my peers, and getting to learn from them. Two separate worlds. But Michael in 2007 never could have written this down. So when you think of a five-year plan, what do you see? What are you thinking of? Because there's two things, or there's two sides to this. What you can see, feel, and touch. And we often settle, but there's another side of this, which is the unknown, which is things you have no control over, things you can't predict. I wanted to be a successful actor in Nigeria. Now I'm a working actor in America. I never could have written that down, but time happened. I tried things, I met people, and I'm here now. Now, I'm not where I want to be. This is not a destination. I'm not like, yeah, I finally made it. So this is how, you know, this is how or what I think you should do. But I just want you to consider this. When you're planning something, or when you have a dream or a desire, just think, is this based off of everything that I think I can or can't do? I'm really willing to embrace the unknown. Because planning sometimes it's us taking control of every possible outcome with no room for mystery, with no room for just life to, to, to bring something you're not thinking of. So I want you to think about that. Don't hold yourself back. Embrace the unknown. Create. Have fun. Fall in love. Enjoy your family and keep going. Until the next video, my name is Michael Gibran. Embrace the unknown people. <laughs>